Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back. In the previous tutorial we were talking about the hard links. So now let us continue with the soft links. So in the previous tutorial I have already told how to create a hard link and what exactly happens uh, when we retain the um, you know, original file and we what happens when we see the hard link file and all. So now uh, let me create a file called uh, file2. Okay. Mm, and give some contents over here. This is a soft link file. Some junk value. Okay. Now a fi our file is created. If you see plus minus li, then uh, file two. You can see an inode number is created for the file two. Now how to create a soft link for this file is just say just same it's very easy just the way how we created it for ha, you know hard link we say ln then hyphen s in hard link we didn't give any kind of uh, you know uh, this like attribute or anything we mentioned simply as ln and file name and the hard link file name here just mention it as hyphen s because you're going to create a soft link then give the original file name file2 then here file2 hyphen soft link okay so our soft link file is created. Now if I list the file, file to star, you can see a soft link is created. The you can see the difference between the hard link and soft link here. In our hard link, what happened is the inode number was the same for both the files, the original file and as well as the ha hard link file. Here, when you see the you know, soft link file, you can see the inode number varies here. So what exactly happens in the soft link is, um, hope you remember this diagram where I explained the what exactly the inode table will contain. So this table will resemble for the hard link file. Okay. Now when you go to the symbolic file, uh, this is how it will be. This the just uh, imagine that this is inode table for the symbolic inode number. So it will have the file type as symbolic. Here we had it as regular because it was a hard link one. So here the file type is going to be symbolic and the same content will be there as it is there here. The file access, permission, number of links, the timestamp, everything. And another thing to remember is this symbolic uh, inode table will not have the data link, data, data link block. That is, it will be indirectly uh, you know, linking to the um, data block. That is not like this, you know, directly linking. That's why whenever we deleted the hard link, you know, main file of the hard link, still we had the, uh, you know, hard link file, right? Here, it, it, it in this symbolic link, it, that's not the case. That is, it is not having the direct uh, link to the uh, data file block. Okay, we'll see how how that works. Okay, so here, if you see, uh, for example, if you cat the file two can see there's there is some content right in the same way if I cat the symbolic link or the soft link file you can see it's having the same content same way it's just same as the hard link now if I modify this uh, file to this is our main file modification in soft link file okay you modify and if you cat again you can see modification has happened same way when I cat the file to soft link you can see the modification has happened in this soft link file also but the biggest problem in this um, soft link is whenever I remove this main file for example let me clear this off yeah now if I remove the main file that is file 2 and now when I grab, I'm mean, sorry, when I cat the uh, soft link file, you can see that no such file exists. That is, we have broken the main link to the f uh, you know, original file itself. If this main file itself is doesn't exist, then the uh, you know, symbolic link file will become invalid. That's the biggest uh, problem of the symbolic link. Okay. But what happens is whenever we recreate the recreate the 
you know main file like if i again recreate it you can see i'm entering some chunk value now if you go cat the symbolic link file you can see it exists again so that's what is about the hard link and soft link so the things that you need to uh, you know note in the soft link and the uh, hard link is in hard link the inode number will be the same okay first thing is the inode number will be the same whereas uh, in soft link the inode number will vary as i showed okay then um, the hard link the you know uh, as the you know link count will be incremented by 1 whenever we create a link the link count will be you know incremented by 1 another uh, thing is um, about hard link is whenever uh, you know we delete or remove the main file still the hard link file will be retained or remained okay whereas in soft link what happens is when we remove the main file the soft link or soft link file will become invalid okay but when the main file recreated then the link is again re again re established okay so this is what is about the uh, difference between the hard link and soft link so when to use what is um, the hard links uh, can be used uh, whenever you are linking files within a file system so one point to remember is when to use what okay when to use what is the hard link can be used within the file system I mean sorry the hard link can be used to uh, used to link within the file system whereas uh, the soft link can be used when linking when linking across the file system okay so this this is what uh, you need to make note whenever using the hard link or soft link so hope uh, this uh, no hard link and soft link tutorial is very clear for you guys uh, if uh, if there are any queries then uh, let me know and apart from this uh, uh, unix is not the only uh, subject that i take up there are many other um, topics like uh, sorry subjects on uh, sql pl sql and informatica if there are any queries on any subject then please let me know Uh, do mail me and also keep watching my tutorial and also if you like my tutorial then please do uh, subscribe and give a thumbs up and thank you very much for your support keep watching and stay tuned